What old game should be remade with 2021 graphics? Enter The Matrix. I definitely would suggest The Matrix. Path of Nia. So many playthroughs. So many us kickings. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Silent Hill. Never has the furnace turning on at 2am scared more piss out of me than when I was too wrapped up in the fog of Silent Hill 1. I'd expect the game to have aged super poorly in graphics and controls though since then. Bad graphics are not a bad thing when it comes to horror games. In lots KF ways it makes it all the more unsettling. Controls and voice acting on the other hand. Black and white. The title asks about graphics, but imagine how good the AI could be now. Have you noticed there aren't really any games with next gen AI around? Cities. Skylines has some depth. Maybe Rimworld. Maximum Pain 1 and 2. God how I love the Maximum Pain games. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat. But the train doors had already shut behind me. And I was in for the ride. Next stop. Rosco Street Station. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. His voice was absolutely perfect for that character I would kill to have this game redone. The original Deuce X. What a shame. LOTR. Return of the King. My favorite was Battle for Middle Earth. I don't think the gamma play would really be much improved with better graphics, so yours is probably better. Macoria 2. Update. Wow that's a lot of votes. I just want to say Jade Falcon are cowards. Reactor. Online. Sensors. Online. Weapons. Online. All systems nominal. With VR support. Please. Legacy of Kane series. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yes. Specifically the Sol Rieva games would be awesome. Parasite Eve. And on a similar note. Dino Crisis while we're at it. Perfect Dark. Everyone always praises Golden E to the moon, but this game was essentially Golden E2 improved in every way. Its features were way ahead of its time. With the combat simulator to this day not being surpassed in customizable options. It also featured a co-op game mode and a counter-operative game mode. Filled with secrets, a decent plot and a ton of cool guns. Such an amazing game that people never talk about. Yeah I obviously have fond memories of playing Goldeny back in the day, but holy sh was perfect dark such a game changer. I love that game. Did you know there's a trailer out for a new perfect dark game in development? I have a very vivid memory of playing perfect dark for the first time, and gushing to my friend, that the characters looked like real people. I couldn't fathom how graphics could get better. One of my favorite games from N64. Jack and Daxter. I was so excited when they re-released it for PS4. I don't think I'd ever legitimately beaten the first game, so that was really fun. Jack 2 is just a masterpiece and 3 holds a ton of nostalgia for me. I'd pay for graphics updates and do it all over again any day of the week. Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, Ape Escape, all had the chance to be the Mario and Zelda of Sony, but for whatever reason Sony is not investing on those games. Quake. On Friday the revitalized edition is going to be announced at Quackacon. Whether it's a remaster or a brand new game we will have to wait and see. Twisted Metal. I miss Sweet Tooth he was the best demented clown. Yes please. I just want a vehicle combat game. Blockbuster took so much of my money renting Vigilante 8 for my brother's N64. Yes yes. Twisted Metal 2 was an all time favorite, I tried to play it a while ago, and the graphics were so bad I didn't know what I was even doing. We are spoiled nowadays, like a lot of games from the era, it wasn't as bad on a court display, the designers knew how to play with pixels on that kind of screen, and make them play in ways that a high definition output can't really show, but yeah. Once it's on a 720p or better display, everything looks potato quality. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Man, there's a game that is basically Roller Coaster 1 and 2, but with better graphics. The name is Parkitect. Have fun. Spore. It's such a unique concept and I really think a game with a similar, but the more realistic style would be great. It's definitely something that needs to be updated. I'm genuinely curious if someone could take on the design goals of it and actually make it work this time around with more modern tech and I'd say a more experienced game industry. The two I know about are Thrive and Adapt. 
Thrive is unrealistically ambitious, and may as well be dead in the water, get it? Adapt, though, is an actual video game, that could feasibly exist, haven't checked in on either of them for a couple years, so they may have both been nuked, Spore straight up needs a sequel, first you'll need to wrest it from the grip of EA's long, grubby fingers. Gotta be that one guy who always says Legend of Dragoon on a post like this. Yes, I'll never understand how they only made the one game. Also, F Gust of Wind Dance. I was looking for the one that would post this. Take your upvote. Fable, Chicken Chaser. My wife used to think video games were an absolute waste of time, and she never really enjoyed them. I brought home Fable, and she was like, that game looks so stupid, can I try it, like, she didn't think it was acceptable for her to like video games, so she has to say it looked stupid, but she was obviously interested in it, she played the shot of Fable, when Fable 2 came out, she was like, are you going to buy Fable 2, she still wasn't at the point, where she wanted to admit she liked it, and she wouldn't waste money on it herself, but if I was gonna buy it, maybe she'd deign to play it, you know, if she didn't have important business, to attend to or anything, of course I bought it, and she played it way more than I ever did, then I showed her Skyrim, and Diablo, she still isn't really a gamer, but she does like some games now, I don't care how good or bad Fable is, it's one of my favorite games, because we got to enjoy it together. So I'll be first in line for the next fable, you bet. I spent a disturbing number of hours playing the original fable, that game was awesome. I'd settle for an expansion of that world. Fable 1 and 2 are incredible. Was it Fable 2 where you can choose your gender, and make children with your lover? My character was pregnant a lot, lol. The first three Harry Potter games, where you could explore the whole damn castle. Flea I I I Bendo. Flipendo FLIPendo those voices are seared into my brain. That and the who sound every time he jumped. Why ESSS the jump sound was so weird. Ugh I remember tracing Flipendo so carefully and never doing it fast enough because our mouse was too awful. Such a great series of games. This single comment catapulted me back to a dusty old memory so fast I'm still reeling. My dad and I had made our own little coop for the PC with Chamber of Secrets, where he was the wand, and I was the legs. Bean challenges were so bad, because we could never agree on where to go. Thanks for the nostalgia friend. My dad got a kick out of the reminder too. Order of the Phoenix actually allowed you to explore the whole damn castle from the movies. I got lost so much Lmao it's fine huge. Catch me still looking for all of Lunash 10 years later. Honestly, an open world Harry Potter game. That's basically all years. That's kinda like the new game Hogwarts Legacy coming out soon. But it takes place in the 1800s. There is a very old Northeast's game called Pirates. You play surprise as a pirate and you explore the world. Finding treasure, capturing ships, navigating the winds, finding your lost family, marrying the governor's daughter then taking over port after port. It had sword duels, galley vs galley segments, and galley vs port segments. It was an ambitious game for the time, but suffers from a slow travel system low graphics, and a very clunky combat system. The closest game to ever replicated was Assassin's Creed. Black Flag but just straight up remake without the ack name. Attached to it where you can be a pirate or hustle the Spanish waterways would be very fun indeed. Pirates was actually a computer game before it was a Nintendo game. And it was created by Sid Meier, the guy who would go on to make the Civilization series. I think that a remake would need to add a bit of depth to everything, but intentionally avoid falling into the trap that caught Assassin's Creed, rather than smoothing out the edges for mass market appeal. A developer could focus on making it, so that every system from combat to selecting one's crew was controllable by the player. It would probably be a bit tough to refine the sword fighting mechanics, but if someone got it right, I'd be willing to bet that the end result would be incredible. Oh wow. I didn't know it had that kind of history behind it. Thanks for the info. Definitely would be a pretty niche game. Since not everyone wants to party manage like that but honestly, the thought of preparing for a long journey with food and rum to keep the crew happy, so they don't mutiny sounds very entice. Just FYI it was and remade in 2005. What I liked about it is, that it was a straight remake, very little tweaking at all, and what they did add particularly the spyglass for treasure enhanced the game. I didn't find it as engaging as I would have thought, 
but then I absolutely played the hell out of the original on my Amiga, and it is essentially the same game. The Prince of Persia Trilogy, Sands of Time, Warrior Within, The Two Thrones. That's a great shout. Thousands of gamers have no idea point it's an important third game. Definitely helped establish what a good third platformer action game should feel and look like. I'll never forget playing Sands of Time and running along the walls. Sands of Time was epic. The Splinter Cell series. Time Splitters 2. That is all. Holy sheep thanks for all the awards and glad everyone loves this game as much as I do. They are making a sequel. You're lying. F you. Quit picking the damn monkey, it's cheating, cousin. If the game lets you do it is not cheating, another cousin. Miss those days. Star Fox. Every Star Fox after 64 failed to capture the addictive gamma play, I've been excited for, and bought everyone hoping for something close. Super Mario RPG. It was so awesome, but came out for Super Nintendo right before the N64 was released so everyone forgot about it too fast. A close second is Banjo-Kazooie for N64. I loved that game and all the different themed worlds it had, and I think it would be incredible with today's capabilities. Yes, I think the Paper Mario series kind of took its place, so we didn't get the Super Mario RPG sequels we deserved. What's funny is that ever, since Super Paper Mario for the Wii I, the Paper Mario series took a nosedive in terms of RPG gamma play, so the series doesn't even properly take over the Mario RPG series. Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door will forever be in my heart though. Amazing games, characters, and stories. Road Rash. Came here to say this. Online multiplayer motorcycle racing with chains and baseball bats. How hasn't this happened yet? I bet it'd be a huge esport. Would be really fun to watch. More aligned. Look up OpenMW. It's not a remaster, but it's a rebuilding of the engine completely open source that runs a lot better on modern hardware, as well as doing a bunch of other neat things like native Linux support. I play OpenMW on Linux with mods and my god it is super smooth and amazing. Wish they still made games like this. More aligned and Oblivion are my most favorite RPGs of all time. It was unique, and felt like its very own world. Almost alien. Age of Mythology or Black and White 2. Star Wars Republic Commando. I came here unsure of what I would comment, but you took that problem away from me. This is hands down the best Star Wars game I've ever played, and the one I have the most memories with. I fondly remember watching all of those bonus videos you unlock, hundreds of times. Especially that music video one. Metal Gear Solid 1. 2, 4, not 3, is there a remake of 3 I missed, especially 1. That game was life changing for me in terms of how cinematic and story intense a game could be. Fallout 1 half I think a lot more people would play them, if they were up to date, maybe even bringing Bethesda Gamma play. Siphon Filter. TIE Fighter vs X-Wing. We I Sports. Wii Sports would have been such a perfect remake for the Switch in every way imaginable. The Joy-Con are just small Wii remotes and the Switch had nothing but Breath of the Wild at launch. Taking Wii Sports or Wii Party on the go would be all you need. I've been scratching that itch with Mario Golf Super Rush lately. They recently added monthly achievements and rank matches which add some longevity to the game after the somewhat short adventure mode. I think they should make a sequel. Wii Sports Resort was kind of a sequel. I don't remember it too too well, but I remember being amused. The fencing was pretty fun. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic and its sequel. I'd honestly pay full price for total remakes. Sly Cooper series. The Simpsons hit and run. The creators of The Simpsons even want this to happen. But apparently the rights to the game are stuck in some legal hell. I like the rights to the game have been in legal hell since the game came out. Still got my copy and it still works on my Wii 2. God what a good game. I can still hear the horn buzzing when you hit and get someone's passenger. I'm evil Homer. I'm evil Homer. Homie. Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh. Do I have to? You can drop it off on your way to work. And I have to go to work. I agree. This would be very fun to play with friends. It would be very awesome if they kept the arcade-ish style with today's graphics slash mechanics. I had more fun with this game than I did with GTA 3 back in the day. I love this game for the immersion into the Simpsons universe alone. 
but if they remade it, they would need to rebalance and tweak some things. Some missions are absolute horse sh The Oregon Trail, I mean. Sometimes pixels are good. You want to see the real face of dysentery. Dawn of War. New Vegas Alar F04, but with the same UI and everything else from FNV. Just updated. Isn't someone already doing this? I thought there was a Fallout 4 NV project going on somewhere. Blur. For those who have never heard of this game, which I'm guessing is a lot. Blur is a racing game with an arcade style gamma play. It features an incredible amount of cars separated into classes from class D to class A. It has extremely fun gamma play modes and features a ton of challenges. An incredibly fun game that I would recommend to anyone interested in having some fun. And for those that have friends, you can also play it in split screen mode and do races a game mode called destruction which is the highlight of the game in my opinion. Just you and your friends trying to blow each other up while driving your favorite cars. It's a ton of fun and I would love for there to be a 2021 remake. Thank you for putting some actual thought and effort into your comment, instead of just leaving a single word answer. You're right, I'd never heard of Blur, but you made it sound like exactly the sort of game that would actually benefit from an update. The Metroid Prime Trilogy, with the sequel in the works it would be a great time, to give the original 3 a facelift. Super Mario 64, it already looked great as it is, but just imagine it with Odyssey's engine. The Sims 2. It's still the superior Sims game out of all of them for me. Sims 3 concepts were pretty good, and I liked the horses. Graphics are weird though. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. By Azura by Azura by Azura. It's the grand champion. I cannot believe it's you, standing here next to me. Tony Hawk Underground. Spartan. Total Warrior. Freedom Fighters. Gun. Jets at Radio. Bully. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Well that didn't take a lot of scrolling this time. But yes obviously this is the answer. It's happening people. And the best part is they've already confirmed EA won't have anything to do with it. And the Sith Lords. Bonus points if they release it fully completed as originally intended. Keep all the same voice acting. And encounters and everything. Just update the models. Basically every GTA game before V. I have good news for you. Thank you.